Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, and people of all ages. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Josh, and today we're going to kick off Lee Week with a trip into my current Lee uh, denim collection slash inventory. Let's get into these items right now. Let's go. So Lee is another brand that sort of competed with Levi's for so long, and it's really underappreciated in my opinion, uh, incredibly underrated. Uh, but I have a few pieces here. Some of them you have seen on previous collections, but some of them you've never seen at all. So let's start looking at what we have here. All right, starting things off, we have this corduroy collar denim duster. This thing is huge. Uh, this thing is large. It says it's a small actually, but you know, it's a, it's a large garment. Um, I believe this is from the mid nineties. Um, I don't know who in the mid nineties is actually wearing a duster, uh, but um, it's pretty cool. It is uh, it's a pretty cool uh, Lee denim. Definitely got the softer feel like most Lee denim does. Um, I don't wear dusters, but if you wear dusters, this is definitely the duster for you. Next up, we have a pair of denim jeans. These are exceptional as far as the wash is concerned. That's really why they're on this list. I just love the freaking color and the marbling on this thing. These are Lee Riders. I believe these are fra probably from the mid to late 80s, uh, but They've got the tapered look. Uh, ladies, if you can't find yourself a good pair of like Levi's, these are so good. You should definitely try these instead if you can't find a reasonable price for Lee, uh, Levi's. The Lee's are exceptional. All right, now we have another pair of Lee jeans. These are men's jeans. These are definitely so 80s. Uh, these are cool. I don't have a ton of information on this particular uh, line. It's the like Lee Navigation, the Falcon League line i don't know what it is but they're so 80s look how 80s these things are they've got all of the like the the sectioning here they've got this like weird pocket weird pockets all around they've got some velcro uh they're like wide sort of a uh, bit uh, bock uh, boomier pants these are so 80s um super cool pants uh I, I i don't know i can't i don't know tons about this particular line but they've got the patches here the patches are super cool so anyway these are super dope these are some of the cooler men's Lee's jeans that i have they're not incredibly old obviously uh, but they're super unique all right now for some of the oldest lee jeans that i have we've got this pair right here they're actually dead stock uh the, the tag has been pulled off you can still see it stitched here these definitely haven't been worn they don't have a big old patch but they do have this the flare these are some uh vintage lee bell bottoms uh, from the 70s these are an exceptional pair because they are dead stock super cool uh, you've got the straight stitch across the back pocket which is a little bit unusual uh, for lee as they typically had the wave which is sort of their uh their uh, uh trademark uh, but these are super cool as well they just got a great feel to them uh, definitely, if you're a hippie, these are the t uh, type of jeans you're looking for. All right, now for another pair of women's Lees. These are really cool. Um, the, the weave on the denim here is exceptional. I, it gives it like this checkered look without it really actually being checkered. Uh, I just found these are super interesting, super unique. Um, definitely, they do things that Levi's may never even have attempted to do. Uh, so these are really cool, and that's why they're in this collection. All right, now for a denim jacket, we have this Lee denim chore coat from the 70s. It's got the corduroy collar, which seems to be sort of a, uh, you know, a Lee thing to do. Uh, I love the embossed Lee on all of the buttons. It's definitely got some distressing, so it's definitely been used. You've got the blanket line on the interior. Uh, this is a great jacket. Definitely represents Lee, especially the older Lee stuff, really, really well. Uh, super cool. I think I paid up for this when I actually purchased it from a flea market. I think I paid 30 bucks, but it's definitely worth it to have something with this character and this age. All right, now for a Lee jacket from the 80s. Uh, this Lee jacket, uh, I love the marbling sort of stone washiness of it. Uh, it's definitely worn really well. Uh, you've got really dark patches of dark uh, wash, and then you've got like really light patches where there's been a lot of wear. You've got this Lee Riders thing here, size medium, made in USA. Uh, this thing is super dope. I believe this is from the 80s. 
Um, it's definitely got that 80s vibe with the denim on the outside here with all that beautiful marbling. The super, like look how look how wide those uh, those uh, arms are. I mean, the, the sleeves on this thing are super wide, which was a very like common 80s uh, look. Super cool jacket. Definitely glad it's in the collection. Hopefully find it a good home soon. All right, now for my chief lead piece. It's this guy right here, the 101J from the 60s. It's got Lee right here embroidered on a little patch. Lee riders on all the buttons. This thing is exceptional. Uh, this is one of the coolest Lee jackets I have ever beheld and held in my own hands. Uh, you've got this uh, old school tag, uh, Union made in the USA. This really is, in my like my collection, the creme de la creme of Lee pieces. Uh, definitely not gonna part with this for you know a low amount of money. You're gonna have to pay me a lot to get rid of this thing. This thing is super dope. It does not, it's not salvage or anything like that. Uh, it's not quite that old. Uh, but it's definitely one of the chief lead pieces out there. Uh, one of the cooler pieces out there you can actually find, in my opinion, this is a classic jacket all around. All right, so those are some of the highlights for my Lee collection. I hope you enjoyed it. We have a ton of Lee uh, content coming out this week. We're gonna talk about how to identify vintage Lee. We're gonna talk about some of the coolest Lee pieces out there on the internet. So stay tuned, remember to like, comment, and subscribe so you can be aware of the videos when they drop. And we'll see you guys in the next one, peace.